Hello, boys and girls. So on Wednesday, we read a story called The Snowy Day. Okay, I want you really quick, tell your families two things that you remember about the story. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. If you're not finished, pause the video and you can keep talking. So we read The Snowy Day and it was about a little boy named Peter. And he had many adventures in the snow. So really quick, I'm just going to do a recap. We're going to walk through the book and I may just point out some important things. So when Peter woke up one morning, he noticed there was lots of snow and it had fell all during the night. He was excited. He put on his snow suit and he started to go outside. We talked about where does he live. Look at the all of those buildings. So if he has lots of buildings when he looks out his window, where does he live? A city. Good job. We talked about the first thing that he did was make footprints. So if you go outside, you can make footprints like Peter. And then he decided to make tracks. What did he use to make a track? He used a stick, that's right. And he decided to smack the tree. What happened when he smacked the tree? That's right, plop, right down on Peter's head. And then he went on. Oh, his friends were playing with snowballs. They were having a snowball fight. Did he join? He said he wasn't old enough yet. So he made a snowman. He made snow angels. I'm sure some of you all did that or are going to do that. He pretended he was a mountain climber. Then he slid down the hill. He put a snowball in his pocket. I'm sure you remember what happened. His mom took off his wet socks. What did he do next? That's right, he went to take a warm bath. And he was thinking all about how much fun he had had. And he went to his pocket and what happened? That's right, it melted. How did Peter feel? He was sad, you're right. So he went to sleep. While he was sleeping, he had a dream and he dreamed what? That's right, that the snow had all melted. Was his dream true? Nope, when he woke up, more snow had fallen. And he called across the hallway to his friend and they went out to play in the snow together. And we talked about where he lives if he's able to just call across the hall. Anybody remember where he lives? An apartment building. So remember, uh, there may be a house on this side where someone lives and kind of a house here, but they're all in the same building. It's like a lot of little houses and a big building. Now, after we read that one, we're going to look at this one. It's a smaller book called Tracks in the Snow. Let's look at this one. Alright. We're going to read it and then we're going to compare and contrast. Tell how it's the same and different. It says it's for Ellen. Who made the tracks? Where do they go? I skip across the snowy yard, around the old oak tree. Past the garden gate I go. Good thing I have the key. It 
it's too big to be a rabbit. No bears this time of year. Is that a hippopotamus hiding over there? Hmm, what do you all think? Is that a hippopotamus? What is it? It's actually just rocks, that's right. Tracks in the track in the snow, tracks in the snow. Who made the tracks? Where do they go? You can think about who made the tracks. Who do you think made the tracks? Now, if you look at this picture right here, does it look like she lives in the city, like Peter? That's right. You don't see a lot of buildings here at all, do you? You see farmland and just land, and so that means she lives where? In the country. Good job. In and out of rocks I squeeze along a frozen pond. Slip slide across a snowy bridge into the woods beyond. And we also have Peter in our other story. And then this story, is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It could have been a duck, but I think they've gone away. I know it's not a woodchuck. They sleep all night and day. Tracks in the snow, tracks in the snow. Who made the tracks? Where do they go? I peek under a fallen log. Then tramp simp up a hill. Quickly down the other side, the tracks keep going still. There are tracks in this story. Were there tracks in the other story? Who made those tracks? Hmm. Something to think about. What's she doing there? That's right, she's making a snow angel. Could it be a fox, a dog, maybe a squirrel or kitten? Oh, look here, what's this I see? Why, someone's lost a mitten. Now look really close. Who do you think lost that mitten? She did. That's right. Look at the colors of the scarf. It matches the mitten. So had she already been out here playing in the snow? Hmm. Have you figured out who made the tracks yet? Okay, let's see. Tracks in the snow, tracks in the snow. Who made the tracks? Where do they go? My feet are getting oh so cold. There's still no sign of it. And even though the time is late, I really hate to quit. She still hasn't figured it out. Who made those tracks? Snowflakes fall softly as quiet as a mouse. Hey, the tracks are leading right back to my house. Wait, I know who made these tracks. I know where these tracks go. I hope you figured it out whose tracks. I made them yesterday out playing in the snow. She figured it out. It was a mystery. All right, so now, after thinking and listening to this story and our other story, we need to compare and contrast. So we need to compare, tell the same, like my hands, 
we need to tell what's different, contrast, like my nose and my eye. All right, so you're going to make a Venn diagram with your family. They can help you. So draw the two circles. And in the middle, you're going to put how they books are the same. And then on the sides, you put what's just in Tracks in the Snow. And then on the other side, what's just in the snowy day. So really quick, if you think, what's the same about both stories? Both stories are in the snow. That is exactly right. They're both in the snow. All right, you keep thinking, and I want three things. Just like yesterday when you looked at the two monsters, I want you to tell me three things that are the same and then three differences. So on one side you may have Tracks in the Snow has a little girl and Snowy Day has a little boy. Very good. All right, work hard on this. Way to go, guys.